what's going on gamers I'm just gonna throw up a short that I just did next to some gameplay and then go into a hype video post I made on X before we talk about the stuff we're gonna talk about to show you guys the white gamers not all talk I'm about action we're about hype we're making video games cool in 2024 you're gonna see everything in a couple minutes welcome to the new gaming channel that's gonna help save America you're gonna join you're gonna help this is guys you're in for a treat I got a bunch of stuff made that you probably don't know about it's probably your first video let's get into it Stay tuned, we're reading a Grums tweet that he did that I thought was really good. We're also going to give my first impressions on Stellar Blades. Don't forget to like, comment, and follow if you want to take back gaming and take back the American culture war in 2024 and weed out the woke losers trying to mess with gaming and trying to mess with our society and our kids so far and I also got some more hype content for you and just stuff about video games and winning the culture war that's really important guys I appreciate it we're making video games cool too in 2024 on new wallets and new minds bringing it to greater America for people that don't play movies and TV are dead they woke to fight everything they ruined it we can save gaming it's still a pure swarm Censored response to Sony's censorship on the game it features lies and pee, fighting the final purge call for the white male gamers. We respond, we take down the as hardy as the man. Now if you boss, check it out. Thumbnails, even the lies and pee guy says uh the P for my P for E speed. Check it out, it's awesome. My first impressions of the game is that it's incredible. And the combat system is really responsive and it feels really unique. I was having trouble with a couple of the bosses. I was loving it. I got some more gameplay in the background. If you don't own it, it's a must buy in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. I would say that it's one of those games if money is really tight and in 2024 it is. And I'm talking about video games as a way to save people money who go out a lot especially with kids in 2024 it's so much money to go out i'll get into that in other videos but if money's tight this is maybe one of those games that's questionable if you want to get at full price especially if you're not a die hard action kind of or even leaning on the soul side type gamer but also i really think the developers did a great job and i want to support them and i love this type of game i'm happy paying full price for it and it's a massive win, just like I, I got in the title. This is a huge win for gamers. This is a huge win for the developer. They've done a pretty good job. I got other videos clowning on it. There's news channels out there, guys. I'm bringing a little bit of news, but I'm more response, more hype, and I'm here to build a gaming community that's going to help save America and make video games cool, like I said. So, but yeah, from what I've seen, there are some pacing issues with the game and stuff. And I am in a spot where I'm running around. It's a little open and stuff like that. But the game is awesome. I don't expect anything perfect. And I hold flat screen games specifically to a high standard. This game holds up. It's awesome. I do a lot of virtual reality content. I'm a little more lenient on the virtual reality developers. But yeah, this game's awesome. And I'm about, I don't know six hours in or something like that absolutely loving it and yeah so that's it man i mean it's a must buy the game's awesome support developers and on the censorship stuff i got other videos on that but yeah it's it's really sony i feel pressured them i think they held these developers hostage i think it was all even in a way just to do something so they didn't feel like we have a win grums has a really well written article on his x account it just a really, really well written article. Um, you know what? I'll bring it up. I'll read it. Sorry, guys. My background's a little bootleg. I have the red, uh, red um, blanket up because it, it makes it the cutout easier when I've been doing the virtual reality content for the cutout to do it cinematic where you can see me in the headset and stuff like that. So, um, this guy's Twitter is actually like it's shadow banned or something like that. So let me just. Pull it up real quick. But yeah, if you need to spice up your gaming. Oh wait, here he is. He's back. 
Um, that was the thing, and that was true. I looked him up myself. I couldn't find him in there. I seen other guys have videos on it. I don't know what was up with that. It could have been a glitch. It's, it's hard not to be a little bit of a conspiracy theorist with this stuff because you know people don't like them that are in power in the gaming industry. I got tons of videos clowning on these people. We're not going to let them win the culture war. Um, yeah, where is his tweet? I'm not saying anything good or bad about this guy, but I do think this was a really good post. He says X has no room for subtle nuance, but let's try. The fight against DEI, ESG, and Bridge is a long-term fight. Everyone fights, nobody quits is my motto. But when that plan meets reality, it's everyone fights the best of their ability. Not everyone can risk being me, putting my real face out there, getting canceled, and death threats for the nth time. There are millions of you out there who have to fight Anon, Anonymous, and guess what? We get that. It doesn't make you a coward. That doesn't mean you sold out and aren't fighting as hard as you can. And you will make mistakes. And when you do, the important part is to hang together and support each other. The other side does, and this is a source of their strength. Shift Up is fighting to the best of their ability to give you what you want. That's the developer, by the way. They chose to make games that gamers want against the tide of DEI and ESG that wants to make this type of game impossible to make, against the tide of AAA that only wants bland, safe games for the masses. They made some bad marketing choices and either shipped outfits out they liked better or were simply silently censoring it by Sony. I misread that, sorry, you guys get it. In the end, this is less important than the overall win that we are getting here in this long-term battle. They are fighting to the best of their ability and they also make mistakes. Meanwhile, companies like Games Workshop and Pokemon Go are actively fighting against you by their own choice. Shift Up is not the same, they are an ally. But as I've said many times on my streams and interviews about Stellar Blade, this is a huge win in the battle of AAA Drek. Against AAA Drek. But in any war, you make mistakes and you take casualties. In fact, it's impossible to win without taking big risks, enduring casualties, and losing many battles. Stellar Blade is a fantastic game for its gameplay, and it flies in the face of our DEI ESG enemies for its outfits and outright sexuality. But those enemies are trying to channel your anger against the censorship mistakes in Stellar Blade to discredit and mock the true cause, the fight against wokeness. Don't let them. Support Shift Up, band together, because they are an ally and have delivered a huge win in this long-term fight. I absolutely, absolutely agree. As for the mistakes, the marketing censorship flub, the best we can do is point it out and try to fix it. The petition is just that, acting as a consumer voice to try to fix a PR blunder. We don't know what is stopping them, creative vision being different than consumer expectation. Sony pulling the strings, the petition may fail too, but in the end, we still get our win. Either way, a very big win. Guys, sign the petition if you have and if you want to support uh, Freeing Stellar Blade officially on the petition. Stop making enemies out of our allies who make mistakes. Stop blackpilling when they don't agree with you 100%. You're the only one letting our enemies win while they stick together no matter what. You're only letting our enemies win. Guys, I'm spending too much time in the VR headset. My brain's a little fried. You guys get it. I appreciate your patience. Time to adopt tactics from them and stay strong together. I have your back through your anonymous... Uh, post and your mistakes, I asked you to do the same for all our allies. Very, very well said. I 100% agree. The developers are an ally and they really have spit in the face of wokeness. Guys, this stuff is really bad for society. I'm not going to get into it in this video. It's not bad to clown on this stuff. I got the Gamers for Trump, Gamers for Trump channel, Gamers Against Propaganda. We're helping people see the better side of stuff that they're being brainwashed by the elites. If you're tired of the elites, tired of the propaganda, tired of the prices out there. Help make video games cool. And um, yeah, Gamers for Trump, check out my videos. I'm going to put up a couple of the thumbnails right here. I'll throw up uh, another hype video. And that's it, guys. Just a quick video. Um, killer therapy, demon therapy, hell sweeper. If you're interested in the virtuality stuff, the Pavlov tactical military stuff is awesome. That's in my Gamers for Trump politics hit up virtual reality video. And then um, the virtual revolution, the military crossfire. I'm putting activists under military crossfire action. Maybe you guys might think my shorts are funny. Really appreciate it, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the opinion, the news that matters over crack gameplay and new virtual reality content. It's going to save your brain if you haven't gone virtual yet. Go virtual, go alpha. I'll see you boys soon. Thanks for tuning in, gamers. The tormented gladiator fighting the legendary Tales game. I'm here. I'm the white gamer. They're clowning on the white gamers. I'm the white gamer. I'm also the virtual alpha gamer i'm a recovered flat screener and i'm here to bring virtual reality to greater america so do me a favor like 
comment, subscribe, follow, uh, support my X channel, support my YouTube if you believe in virtual reality and you believe in PSVR 2. I think it's not just for the hardcore gaming market. In fact, I think they should have marketed as therapy to non-gamers. Even if you game, it's the better way to go. I'm trying to get parents into virtual reality, seniors into virtual reality. I'm trying to get our flat screeners into virtual reality. I'm also trying to get the Xboxers to stop denying reality. Sony's got the best gaming tech. Let's welcome them over with love. Teach them to learn to love themselves, learn to love their gaming, game better, game healthy, love the country as well. Guys, check it out. I'm here to make video games cool in 2024. Save new minds, save new wallets, and even making the Horizon game cool in 2024. I played it. It was actually really fun. Can't wait to play Stellar Blade also. Guys, check out my content. I'm serious. We're breaking the hardcore virtual reality gaming market. Let's do it. Saving America, making video games cool again, boys.